Hello everyone, I'm Dan Henry and I'm a Senior Technical Architect here at MuleSoft. In this Friends of Max video series, I'm going to be talking to you about AnyPoint API Community Manager, which provides a next-gen developer experience to help you build and grow API ecosystems. Today, we're going to provide a demonstration of how to configure SSO, or single sign-on, in your API community with Okta. Let's get started. Now, before we jump into the steps to configure this, let's have a look at the user experience that we're going to create. First of all, we're going to have a community member. We'll have the ATM login page, the Okta login page, and the ATM home page. First, the community member will visit the community and go to the login page and select the SSO option. Next, they'll be redirected to the Okta login page to authenticate against the identity store. If they're successful, a user will be created in ACM aligned to the profile specified in the Okta configuration. Finally, they'll be redirected to the home page and they'll be able to browse the community and their APIs. So we have our API community and we have our Okta dashboard as well. And you'll see here, this is the community that we're going to be configuring with the SSO login. So let's close that for now and get configuring. So in the Okta dashboard, we want to head to Applications and click Applications. We're going to select Browse App Catalog, select Salesforce.com and select Add. The application label will stay as Salesforce.com you can choose a different instance type, but we're doing it in production. And for custom domain, if you have a custom domain set up, you'll need to add this. You'll see here I do, so I'm going to grab this and add it there. The user profile is Salesforce community user. And we'll hit next. In the sign on methods, we're going to select SAML 2.0. We'll enable single logout and configure that signature certificate in a moment. And then click View Setup Instructions. Now you can have a read through this, but we're going to take you through this as well in this video demonstration. So next we want to go to Setup in Salesforce org. And we're going to choose Single Sign-On Settings. Click Edit. And make sure SAML is enabled. We'll then select new and we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it ACM single sign on. The issuer we can get from the setup SSO page that was opened. We'll also get the identity provider certificate so you can download that and then add it in. Next, we'll add the Identity Provider login URL. And because we're going to set custom logout URL as well, we'll do that. We can then configure the API name. And we'll need to do the Entity ID. Again, because I have a custom domain, I'm going to use this URL and then update it. So I'll take our custom domain and added my custom domain. You can see this is similar to the screenshot we have here. So now we can click save. Next, you'll want to get the endpoints. Because we're doing this for communities, we don't want to use these endpoints here. We want to open this drop down and copy this login URL and logout URL for the community name that we can see that we're related to for configuring up SSO. I'll copy this into a notepad. And then I'll also download metadata. Again, because we are going to be configuring single logout as well as single login. Next, we can copy and paste the login and logout URLs from that notepad.
got a signature certificate. We're going to open that metadata we downloaded before. And we need to grab this X509 certificate here, bring it into a new file, and we're going to put hyphen, 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 so five hyphens, followed by begin certificate, and another five hyphens. We'll then paste and then finish with end certificate, again with five hyphens on each side. We can then save this. I call it acm-slo.crt. And then we're going to browse for that, select it, and open. For the application username format, we'll configure this to email and select done. Ah, I forgot to click upload under SAML 2.0. Done. Next, we need to finish configuring single logout. So if you see in the setup SSO instructions, we've done that bit, and now we just need to open this metadata URL. We need the URL in single logout service line, the top one. So we can see that there. So let's copy that. Again, I'll save it in my notepad. And then we're going to click edit in the Salesforce org in that single sign on configuration. We're going to enable single logout and paste that URL. Next, we're going to configure OAuth and REST integration between the Salesforce org and our Okta environment. So we're going to head back to the Salesforce org and we're going to search for App Manager. We'll then create a new connected app. We'll give this connected app a name, so ACM SSO. Provide a contact email. Enable OAuth settings. For the callback URL, paste this one, which I'll put in the notes below this video. And for the scopes, We need access and manage your data. And if you scroll down, we need perform requests on your behalf at any time. Everything else stays the same for now. And we select save. Now it can take up to 10 minutes to take effect. So I'm gonna grab a coffee and come back to the configuration. So I'm back from my coffee, so I'm gonna complete the configuration. We're gonna copy the consumer key and consumer secret from this. So I'll paste it into my notepad. And next we're gonna check how long the refresh token is valid for. So we'll select manage. And I click edit policies and we can see refresh token is valid until revoked. So that's what we wanna keep. So we'll select cancel. And then we want to head to the Okta page. We're gonna select provisioning. I'm gonna configure the API integration. Select enable integration. And we'll get the consumer key and secret from our notepad. Select authenticate with salesforce.com. This will bring up in a new window and we'll need to allow some certain privileges. So select allow. And if all that is correctly configured, you'll get this green box. So we'll click save. One final step in this part, 
we need to go back to the Salesforce org. We're going to select manage again in this page. To get back here, you can select app manager and then go to here, click view. So we'll select manage from here, edit policies, and then we want to select enable user provisioning and select save. We then need to edit the to app page of provisioning. And we're going to enable create users. It's going to ask us for a Salesforce account ID. So this is the account ID where all of our users will then be added to. So how do we find this? We'll head over to the Lightning Experience page. We can click the app tab and search accounts. Now see here I've got ACM registered users. This is the account that all of my users for my API community will go into. This might be different for you and we can confirm what that looks like by heading back to API Community Manager. Clicking on Community Administration. Selecting Login and Registration. And we can see that users of this profile go into this account. If you have different profiles then you may have different accounts but we'll keep it simple and keep this the same. So we want to get the rec account record ID. So we'll go to accounts. We'll open this and we want to get this ID in the URL. So we'll copy that. Head back to Okta and paste that here. We also want to enable update user attributes and enable deactivate users. Select save. We'll then select to Okta in provisioning. Select edit under general. Import customer users, import customer community users and import customer community manager users. And then select save. Now see in my directory, I'm gonna have some groups. So we need to head to assignments. And in groups, I need to click assign and assign to groups. I'm gonna choose everyone and select assign. And so this is gonna specify that everyone from all users in Okta will go into the out of the box outfitted internal member user. That's the profile we want them to have. For the role, we're going to select ACM registered users and you can add some other permission sets if you want, but we'll leave this like this and select save and go back and then select done. So this has been configured for everyone in my Okta directory. We're then going to head back to API Community Manager and we're going to configure the SSO in login and registration. So we'll go to login and registration. And as we've select created this before, we can now tick this box for ACM single sign on. You can change the login page type to default page, but we want to add some branding. So we're going to keep it as the experience builder page and add a social login component. Select save on this page. And now we're going to go to Community Builder. We're going to go to the login page. And at the moment we only have the login option, but we want to have the SSO as well. So we need to drag the social login component. And you'll see because we've selected that radio box in the login and registration community administration, it appears here. You may want to give this a better name than underscores with ACM single sign on. Select Publish. And so now if I open this community from a private browser, I can select Login, choose this button down here, and it will take me to the Okta page. So 
So I'm going to input my user details. Select sign in. And because I'm a recognized user, that will take me back to my API community and my home page. And so there we go, we've configured Okta with SSO. Thanks again for watching this Friends of Max demonstration. Feel free to leave a comment, check out the links below the video, or have a watch of our other Friends of Max videos too. I look forward to seeing you again soon.